Good morning, everyone. Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is a beautiful spring day, and it's not even officially spring yet. I think we have another week or something like that. But we are enjoying spring weather here so much. So it is Sunday today, and Sundays are the days that Jason and I usually tackle our lawn. So because of the spring weather, we are definitely getting some growth in our lawn, and it's definitely time to not only start mowing again, but also start fertilizing again. So uh, earlier this year, I put out a Gardening for Beginners series where I just talked about basic gardening tasks that I would have liked to have as a new gardener. And um, I really wanted to add a lawn care or lawn maintenance video into that playlist. So I'm gonna throw this video into that Gardening for Beginners series just because I think it's really, really important and helpful. And it would have been nice uh, to have that when I was starting out in gardening. So today, uh, Jason agreed to let me film him while he's mowing, edging, and blowing, um, and uh, we're also going to fertilize. So we fertilize our lawn four times a year, and the way that we do that is we actually went on the Scott's website, and they have this little... Um, questionnaire thing where you can where you can answer some questions about your lawn and your area and it will tell you how much and what to fertilize with so it's really helpful i will link that down below um, and it just gives you the days that you need to fertilize your lawn and usually it's early spring uh, late spring, summer, and fall. And then depending on what type of grass you have, uh, it will tell you what type of fertilizer to use and whether you have deal with weeds or grubs or anything like that. So when I was putting all my information into it, it gave me, um, you know, the four times a year schedule. And then it also told me what type of fertilizer to use. And we get really, really hot here in the summer. So getting a fertilizer to deal with the, the summer heat is really important. And then um, even in the spring, dealing a little bit with the weeds is really important as well. So I'll put on, on the screen right here the different types of fertilizer that I'm going to use throughout the year. And this is fertilizing number one. So I kind of just think of this as like the basic, uh, you know, turf, turf builder, regular fertilizer just to get things going. I'll show you a couple areas on our back lawn where it's, um, we had a bunch of people come and take some landscape rocks out. And so the grass really, really got trampled. Um, so we do have some bare spots and I'm hoping that fertilizing the lawn today will allow those bare spots to, to grow in. If they don't, we will probably overseed our lawn. And usually you want to overseed your lawn in the fall. Uh, you want to most grasses, not you southern folks that have the warm season grasses, but usually most grasses you want to overseed in the fall, but you can do a little bit of it in the spring if your temperatures are between 60 and 80 degrees. Okay, let me take you guys to the backyard. Okay, so here's our backyard lawn, and you guys are pool cleaners running, so you might hear that a little bit. But it looks pretty good, you know, just from the outset, but if I get a little bit closer, and I specifically go back here where a lot of people were um, like stomping around, you can see that I do have some bare patches. So I think that they are small enough that just putting a little bit of fertilizer on this lawn will get it to grow back, but I'll watch it over the next week or two. Usually you can see a difference after you put on fertilizer after about a week or two, like I said. And so if these don't start growing in, then I will just get some um, extra seed. So if you do decide to overseed your lawn, one of the things you need to take into account is what type of lawn you have. And we basically inherited this lawn. We moved in and had this lawn here. So I really didn't know what kind it was, but in my area, I live in Northern California, the, um, the normal type of lawn is kind of a mixture and I'll put the mixture, I don't remember what it is right now, but I'll put the mixture down here. And what I actually did is I called a sod company that's in the area and I asked them and I said, you know, what type of lawn do you think I have and, and what type of seed do you think I should get and do you have any seed for sale? And what they told me is they said the Scott's sun and shade mix, you know, um, seed mix is 
identical to what they use in their sod. So if you guys are having trouble trying to figure out what type of grass you have, um, you know, call a local sod company. Call, call someone that knows and is really familiar with the grass around your area, and they might be able to help point you in the right direction just so you have a better idea of what type of seed you're looking for if you want to overseed your lawn. Like I said, overseeding lawn is, is usually done in the fall um, for cool season grasses, which is what we have. Warm season grasses are like, like in the deep south. Basic, basically, it's like Bermuda grass and stuff like that. But um, they usually do it in the fall, but you can do it a little bit in the spring as long as temperatures are between 60 and 80 degrees. So it is an option for us. Um, it's just something we'll have to pay really close attention to because just like germinating regular seeds, you wanna make sure that those seeds stay moist. So if it gets too hot, you have to be really on it and make sure it stays moist. Okay, so before we get started, before Jason comes out, I think he's getting the lawnmower already. Um, a couple things that I just, you know, that I've learned over the couple years that we've been doing the lawn ourselves. We don't have um, gardeners that come and mow the lawn for us. We do it completely ourselves because, um, purely because just to save money, when the pandemic happened, I was obviously home more and I could see how long it took for the gardeners to come. We, we do not have a big lawn. We have a small patch in the backyard and a small patch in the front yard and the rest of our yard is, um, landscaping. So when the gardeners come, they would be here for about five minutes. And I thought oh, I can do that. I can totally do that and save that money and spend that money on plants, which was my ultimate goal at the time. So, um, just just a couple tips for you guys that I've learned. One of the things is you want to water your lawn infrequently and deeply. So we deal with drought in the area and if you water it just if you water your lawn just a little bit every day, the grass is not going to have deep roots. So then if you deal with drought and it starts getting really hot and really dry, those that grass is not going to be able to survive that. Um, so you usually want to do it like three times a week or something like that in the, you know, in the heat of summer um, and do it for a long time, like 20 minutes or something like that. And when I give you guys numbers for how much you need to water, there are so so many factors you know it depends on how much rain you guys get in your area um, how hot it's been how much shade or Sun your grass gets so you know it's really hard to answer exactly how much um, grass how much water grass needs or even your plants need really just start with a number and then gauge it if it looks too soggy and too wet cut it back a little bit if it still looks too dry increase the amount of time a little bit you know kind of just play with it so infrequent watering is really important. Uh, fertilizing four times a year, once we started doing that, there was a noticeable difference in how good our lawns looked. Um, we had less weeds and we had nice, thick, deep green grass. Um, I always tell people, because I'm really proud of it, we had uh, my, uh, my daughters had a friend over and her mom came over and she thought that our, our lawn was fake because <laughs> it looked so good. <laughs> so I told her that was real and she actually had to walk out here uh, just to see that it was real. So I took that as a huge compliment. I was really happy to hear that. Um, so fertilizing four times a year is huge. And then the other thing I wanted to say is that you don't want to cut your lawn too short. Um, you want to cut it, you want to mow it frequently. We mow it every Sunday during the, during the growing season. And we just, you know, we just take a little bit off the top, you know, like just, just a little trim basically. Um, because if you start cutting it too short, then it'll allow the weeds to have sunlight and and then the weeds will grow and then um, the the grass will burn you know and all that kind of stuff so those three tips I think are the biggest things that helped me out as a new lawn maintenance person <laughs> taking care of my lawn myself um, you know making sure I don't water it every single day so deep infrequent waterings fertilizing four times a year and then frequent mowing um, but just just trimming just a little bit so I think Jason's ready. I think he's around the corner waiting for me to finish filming. So he's going to come out and he's going to mow and edge and possibly blow. And then we will, um, we will fertilize. So let's go.
guys. So Jason is all done mowing the back lawn and he's edged it. And now before he blows and cleans up all the grass clippings, um, we bag most of our gra grass clippings and then put it in our, either in our green waste bin or my composter, depending on if I need um, greens at that time. Um, so before we blow, we're going to put on the fertilizer and this is the fertilizer. This is one of the fertilizers that we use. This is the one we're going to use for our first application this year. And last year we actually used this for all four applications, but this year we're going to try and do the different ones throughout the year. Um, like I think it was late spring, it was a weed control one. And then the summer was a heat control one. And the fall was obviously, you know, getting re winterizing and getting ready for winter. Um, but you can use, you know, go onto that website. I think that that's the easiest thing to do just to see what would be best for your lawn. So when you get this, you know, you need a spreader and depending on how big your grass is, whether you have a handheld one or a wheeled one, and basically it will tell you what setting to put your spreader on. On, and it always says on the back of the fertilizer. So we have one of these handheld spreaders. Can you guys see that? One of these handheld spreaders, just because we do not have a lot of lawn and it's so much, it, I mean, this would just be way overkill. So we're gonna put it on the three and three quarters setting. And then um, what it says is you just wanna walk at a steady pace around. Uh, water it in lightly after you're done for best results. And then this one says you can apply to either a wet or a dry lawn. And that's important to know if you guys tend to get a lot of rain. If it says, if the, the fertilizer you choose says apply only to a dry lawn, then you want to make sure that you, you know, don't apply it when there's going to be a rainstorm or if there is a, a, like a surprise rainstorm, you're probably going to have to reapply it. Um, and then you don't want to leave the, you know, if it oversprays in the area, you don't want to leave that on your concrete or um, your sidewalks or anything like that. So we're just going to go through and we're going to blow all the grass, the extra grass clippings and then the fertilizer back into the lawn. So just reading the back of the package is the easiest way <laughs> to figure things out. So um, I think my biggest uh, hang up with fertilizing is just knowing which ones to purchase. And that's why I really like that online kind of questionnaire thing, because it just made it really, really easy for me just to know exactly what I had to do. And then it gave you like a date range, like about a week or two of when to do it. So this is just something I have in my gardening calendar, um, you know, four times a year, like I said, uh, pretty straightforward. And we did this last Last year and it worked beautifully. Okay, so let's get going. So we are basically all done with the backyard and now we're just going to go to the front yard.
Okay, we are all done. Really, I should say Jason's all done because I really didn't do anything <laughs> today. But it's such a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna stay out here and get uh, other gardening chores done that I need to get done. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell what we do for our lawn maintenance. You know, mowing about once a week, um, edging and then blowing and then fertilizing four times a year as needed. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will try and answer them the best that I can. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.